Hello, hello everybody and welcome to Tupper Tuesday and also the beginning of Hispanic Heritage Month that started back in 1968 and a special shout out to um, all of our Hispanic culture that is out, especially these days in these crazy fires working those fields to get us fresh food so that we can do things like I have for you guys today. So I wanted to come to you guys today. Um, it's Tupper Tuesday. I'm down here at the studio because of the fires. Um, my kids are having all virtual learning. So they're actually sitting in the back on the computer on their classes and I'm making lunch here at the studio. So why not make you a little something special in honor of the beginning of Hispanic Heritage Month. Last night we actually made chicken tostadas and I had leftover and it sounded really refreshing. It's a favorite in my house. So I thought I would bring to you something that we do at home all the time. It's really quick and simple. A lot of people are like, I don't even know the first thing about making fresh tostadas. It's actually a lot easier to do something like this than to make a big grandiose meal. Um, we make all kinds of stuff uh, at home typically in our uh, kitchen so I'm going to show you a few simple things that I have done here already and for the sake of time I kind of got things started ahead of time but I also want to show you um, our freshly grated cheese and some stuff that you can do with all those fresh props that um, uh, so many of our Hispanic culture is out there picking fresh for us so um, again welcome to Hispanic Heritage Month on this Tuesday the 15th it runs for a whole month and we honor our uh, Hispanic culture that um, got passed back in 1968 and we at Tupperware are sold in many many countries made in many countries and we honor all of the people around the world often and today this is for you guys so ahead of time um, I made some fresh salsa and I did that right here in our quick chef you can take one of our cereal bowl seals and slap that right on to your power chef and then you can store that right in the fridge when you don't wanna go find another bowl or maybe you don't have another bowl, it can store right in here. Maybe you make it ahead of time and you can store it in here and take it to wherever you're going. And it's just simply onion, garlic, cilantro, lime, and Roma tomatoes. I use fresh Roma tomatoes always only. And then I put um, a couple dashes, depending on who's eating it, of our Chipotle, Southwest Chipotle seasoning that you can uh, get that recipe from your consultant for our do-it-yourself um, salsa. So I have that. Of course, you have your tostada shells, which store really nicely in your modular containers. I always have them at home in what we call square four. So it would be this height, but it's the shape of our square and then they don't break and crush all over the place um, because there's nothing like having a tostada that you have broken tostadas, then it's just nachos, right? So we have that, we're gonna slap that on our plate here. And then depending on what you like, my preference, our preference at home is sour cream. So um, because I'm trying to be way more conscious about what I eat, I put some sour cream on there. So I'm gonna just set this aside here. Um, and I'll kind of just show you everything we're doing. Actually, I'll put that aside here in a moment. So we start with our tostada shell. I use um, regular sour cream. What's really awesome too is to take this and mix some of our Southwest Chipotle in here too if you want another extra zip if you like things spicy, which is really nice to have. And then in our stack cooker, I used a few pieces of the stack cooker. You don't always need the whole thing. So here we have the cover also used, you can double that up and I'll a lot of times just shred my chicken in the Power Chef and put it in right here and then that becomes our serving tray to do our chicken. So I'll kind of show you briefly how um, I would operate that. I'm gonna move the salsa over so I don't dump anything on there. So we start with the tostada shell, our sour cream, then I add chicken. I'm gonna show you how I shred our chicken I just have another Power Chef here. I love our Power Chef for so many different things. We have several different sizes of choppers, but I like something that just gets everything done. And with five people in our family and all boys, and they actually really like mom's cooking, that, and I'm not a big cook, so that's why I say that. Um, I have to make a lot of food, and then my husband and my oldest always take lunch to work, so it makes it really convenient when you have everything that you need. So you have your blade protector, and then when you're done chopping, you can put that blade protector back on to set it aside, 
and then nobody's chopping up any fingers or small parts, right? The base of your Power Chef, mine has a blue here today, but normally it would come with your red, has a little rubber gripper on the bottom so it doesn't dance all over your countertop. It sticks nicely there. And then I just have some um, boneless, skinless chicker, chicken tenderloins. I always use tenderloins or um, breast, and I'm just cutting slightly you should not cut inside of here but this is my personal one um, and I'm just taking a couple of these these are very tender I cooked them for all of maybe five minutes um, defrosted first they were frozen from Costco that one's a small guy so I just put a couple pieces in there and then we are going to chop that up now what I also want to show you with this here is I cooked the chicken tenderloins right in the colander base of the stock cooker so they still stay moist when they're cooking but all that fat juice is drained to the bottom no chicken does not have a lot of fat juice but it has enough that i'm trying to keep it off of here so i put it uh leave it stored inside of there and then i have the ring that you put right on top and then you have your motor the puzzle pieces right into place there this chicken's still a little bit warm so i always open this little tab here the tab is so that you can put your pour spout for slow dripper, things like homemade mayonnaise and pesto sauce and things like that. But I always leave it open just a smidge when I still have warm chicken and that helps the steam escape. Um, just makes me feel better about it. Then you're gonna take that little motor and pull away. And you can see that boneless, skinless chicken tenderloin or half size breast, whatever way you go. You can pull that just a couple of times. I think I just pulled that five or six times and you have fully shredded chicken. How super awesome is that? So we'll set that aside for a moment and I'll show you how we just pile this up. Put all these to the side. Now my countertops are not granite here, so I grab a little silicone mat so we don't hurt the top of the counter. And then we're gonna take that sour cream and we're gonna pop that right on here. And I just do a little dollop, spread that around there. My kids love sour cream. I know some people totally don't, but I promise you these tostadas are just not the same without it. So that is something that we always do. And then for your seasoning, of course, you can use our Tupperware Southwest Chipotle. We are doing a lot of things with no salt right now. So you can either omit the salt when you're making that seasoning, or um, I do recommend the Mrs. Dash Southwest. Um, this is something that my husband can have, so we like that. So on there, we're gonna take our little tongs here and put some chicken right on top of there. And then normally, I would have cheese already shredded up because my house goes through so much stinking cheese that we um, have it already shredded all the time, but today I don't. But that's okay, because I'm gonna show you guys our master system. Now, I know we've looked at that, this one multiple times, but again, you have your base, and then you choose your topper. So that's why I have uh, this rectangular sitting out. I have the one behind me sitting out because it is all four systems into two containers, and I use the rectangle uh, four because I can put a base in each one. You could actually, I think that one has two bases in it, and I have my spiralizer, my sorbet maker here, I have my great master and my meat grinder in here. So you can have all of your systems keeping them together, which is really nice. If you do um, happen to have the uh, juicer that we have occasionally, it's really nice to have that one as well, but it doesn't fit quite in that one as well with everything because it's a big guy. So um, we don't put that one all the way in there. So you take this and put that where you want it placed on your countertop. You're gonna twist this right into place and it will lock right on your counter so it's not going anywhere. And then choose your size of cheese that you prefer, the larger or the smaller. I prefer the smaller and I always keep the little protectors that came with it on there. It just makes me feel better with my children. And then before I put that on there, we need a handle. So I also have my handles right here and you're gonna put that blade right inside of there. Put your handle on the end and then you're gonna twist the end into place and then that blade's not going anywhere, it's nice and safe. Then I take my mix and store pitcher 
We're gonna set this topper aside and I put the mix and stir pitcher base on the bottom. It falls right into that, which is really awesome. And then when there's leftover cheese, it goes stored right inside of my freezer container, which I love these freezer containers. And yes, it's a freezer container, but it's everything. So ahead of time, I took and chopped some uh, head of lettuce. I just use iceberg lettuce and I have it stored in here. I love these because they sit so nicely in your freezer and your fridge or in an ice chest or in the car if you're taking snacks. It just makes life so much easier when you like a very modularized system. So I'm gonna use, we have um, a block of cheddar here. I'm gonna put this one aside. I have some Kobe Jack in there, but I'm gonna use the rest of this cheddar. I have my Tupperware cheese knife. We're just gonna slice that right down. And then we are going to put that right into the base of your grinder here. You use the handle and your press and you just slice that right down and you see all that fresh cheese that comes out of there. So the benefit of this is you know what is inside of your cheese. There's no potato starches, corn starches, sawdust, yes, sawdust in your cheese. So you have complete control of what you're eating so you can feel like maybe it's okay to have more cheese. And then if you do want to freeze it, because maybe you're the only person in your house that does um, eat cheese, then you can put your own cornstarch in there, give it a good shake, put it in your freezer container, and then you can leave it in the freezer. And when you're only grabbing a small handful of cheese that we're going to put right on top of that tostada, then you can do that and spread it out. You're good to go. Um, my family calls Tuesday Taco Tuesday, so then they'll have cheese ready to go. They're going to be so happy with me. Then you just release that. I'm going to take for now and cover it back up so it stays nice and fresh. And then you would just release the base of that and you can slide it right off and throw it in the fridge. Now, one thing I want to, excuse me, in the sink. One thing I do want to tell you when you are using this for cheese, the best way to wash it is to rinse with cold water first after you've emptied the remainder of any leftover cheese into the trash. Don't put it down your garbage disposal. Put it, um, the leftover in your trash, rinse it with cold water and get that out first before you wash it properly with hot soapy water. And then um, it actually won't get your disposal all clogged up. So we'll set that aside. Then I'm gonna take some of our lettuce here and just put that on top. My family's gonna all have this, so it's just our hands, no worries. It's all pre-prepped for tonight. With my husband working as many hours as he is right now, I try to prep as much food ahead of time, even now, for um, him to be able to just take it to work and be on the go. And you might look at this and it's all kinds of different things. I will often will make the chicken and cheese on top of each other, separate the tostadas so they don't get soggy, like soggy bread, not fun, and then put the salsa in a separate container and sour cream in a little snack container, and it's all good. And then you have chicken tostadas all ready to go. Like how yummy does that look? Super refreshing. If you're a Weight Watcher, the only thing you're counting is that tostada shell and maybe your sour cream, unless you're using a fat-free sour cream. Um, I know Weight Watchers doesn't count all that stuff as much anymore. And then one other thing that I have for you guys that I like to partner with it, that I have all the time, you see my pretty pink, that's what happens when you're in Tupperware for a long time, you have lots of exclusives. But currently you can get our salad on the go set in this beautiful teal color with the lime green accessories. It does come with your fork and knife there. And then it comes with a Tupper mini so you can put your salad dressing. Well, one thing I like to do ahead of time before it goes out of season is have watermelon cut up all the time. And I'll cut it up into little cubes and then put it in different dishes so we all have something to go. And one thing that we love to do with watermelon, thank you to my nephew who got me started on this, actually not too long ago, I take some of our little tahini seasoning. And if you're thinking, ew, that sounds gross. I said the same thing for oh so many years. And let me just tell you, this adds such great flavor to some cubed up watermelon, mangoes, cucumbers, cantaloupes. So if you want something a little zippy on top of your fresh fruit, 
that makes it really nice or if you go out to eat and they give you the little fruit bowl and it always has too much honey doing it does it not and you can put a little bit of that over the top maybe carry it on the side with you you're good to go so that was just something quick and simple for you if you're thinking i love that cheese grater and the spiralizer and the meat grinder ask your consultant how you can get it at a great deal right now but you can always get all these fabulous items with your consultant anytime so ask them how you can do that and we look forward to seeing you next time and happy heritage hispanic heritage month have a blessed week